Hey, what's up guys? Gonna be checking out the latest version of Chroma for the Nexus 6. Now, this is developed and supported by Epic and he does a phenomenal job on that. If you have any questions or comments or any issues, just send him a PM or go on XDA and subscribe to his Chroma link or thread and you'll get some pretty great feedback from him. Now this is in fact the latest version. It is January 26th. It is running the latest version of Franco Kernel, at least during this recording, which is release 10, and it does in fact run Android 5.0.2. Now it does not have an OTA update process, but you can go in Dirty Flash this very easily, no issues. Just be aware that you are going to have to reflash the GAPS package as well as the latest Super SU each time you do. Very easy and no issues there. You are going to notice that it is a dark material theme, which is what I love. Uh, you do have the chroma section or the menu submenu and everything is simplified and put in here accordingly and I absolutely love ROMs that take advantage of this I don't like ROMs where everything's just scattered about through each menu and you have to go in there and find things specifically so very nice job there on cleaning that up um, in the status bar section you are going to have your battery stylus or style you can go in here and adjust that accordingly to your favorite preference you can also adjust the battery style indicator. You also have the clock and date submenu and you can go in here and adjust everything according to your preference. You do have the ability to change the colors. The only thing that I might mention that might be nice to implement is the ability to change the font like uh, Pure Shamu has. That would be a nice additional feature if you can integrate that, but not a big deal. I mean it's still very nice and clean. You do have brightness control which you can adjust uh, by sliding up there on the status bar. You do have double tap to sleep that you can enable or disable. Now be aware that double tap to wake is disabled with this version specifically, but you can go and enable that through the Vomer tweaks, which you can buy off the Google Play Premium for $1.60. I definitely recommend it. Um, and I'll show you that a little bit later or whatever other third party way or customization that you use to enable DT uh, 2W, but it does in fact work. Uh, you do have your quick pull down which is if you swipe on the right there, you'll just get your toggles, and from the left, you'll just get your basic notifications. So very, very nice there. You have the ability to turn on or turn off the notification counts, and you can adjust the tiles based on your preferences. You can also add or subtract the ones that you do not want. And even furthermore, a lot of ROMs don't have this, and that is the ability to disable the first row here if you don't want those taking up the extra real estate so that is very nice I actually like to have that turned off personally you do have the advanced quick location settings that you can enable or disable and the brightness slider so if you don't adjust your brightness very often or you use auto brightness you can turn that off as well to take up a little less space on your toggle section so very nice features there in the status bar very clean you do have the navigation bar as well which you can disable completely or you can go in here and adjust it now I would like to see a percentage value if that's possible it'd be a nice feature but this is pretty great too and it does a good job of not squishing that back key there like a lot of other ROMs do and it just looks hideous so this is very clean and 100 percent working so very nice job there it does have the ability to disable that search bar in your recents so if you get up here you'll notice that I do not have a search bar so you can in fact enable or disable that in here as you'll see now it is enabled you do have a kill app back button that you can turn on or off you do have your clear all recents button and one thing to mention is you have complete control over this now with this ROM specifically you do have the ability to put the icon in the center as well so a lot of ROMs can only put it in the four corners so having the ability to put it in the center on both the top and bottom is pretty cool I actually like it a lot so very nice feature implementation there. You do have the ability to clear all tasks or clear all tasks but the foreground as well if you want that option. So awesome job in the navigation bar. You have the power menu section here and you can go in here and adjust the toggles accordingly to your preferences. You also have the advanced reboot in here as well so you don't have to go digging through it in the developer, uh, development options. Excuse me. So very nice job on cleaning that up and you can enable everything so when you hit that power button you'll now have all the options that you want so very very nice job you also have the volume rocker 
And in this menu, you can enable the device to wake by using your volume rockers instead of just the power or double tap if you're not using double tap. So that's a nice feature. You also have your playback control so you can seek music tracks when the device is turned off. You have the volume adjustment key that you can disable and that's that annoying sound when you're trying to you know, find out how high or low the volume is. So that's nice to have to turn off because that drives me crazy. Um, one of the biggest features with the January 26th build is the ability to turn on the LED light for notifications. So you're going to scroll down here and you'll see notification light. You're also going to have the ability to adjust the battery light as well. So when you go in here and you start selecting stuff, you can set up custom values as well. And you can even go so far as to add specific apps that you want to change colors on. Now. Obviously I am recording on the device and I can't show you in real time the color changing but when you push on the color section it does in fact turn the LED on so you can see what's going on and which color you want specifically. I will actually make a video and I will post it in the comments or excuse me in the description below once I have that available. You'll also see it in my channel obviously. So I will make a video of that and go over in more detail on how this works so you can see it if you were more interested in that. But very, very awesome. You do need to be aware though that due to limitations on the Nexus 6 that it is not going to pulse or blink. It is just going to be a steady solid LED for now until we figure out a way to fix that. But still pretty awesome. It's not going to suck up a lot of battery juice so don't worry about that until you look at your notifications or what have you. But you can also go in there and if you don't want a specific app or something to have the LED to light up, you just select the black and that basically turns the LED off. But anyway, I will make a video going over that a little bit more in detail. But that pretty much sums up Chroma in a nutshell. Very, very slick ROM, very nice looking. I like the dark material design. It's super stable. And in its current build, and this guy, uh, Epic, he has great development support. He comes out with new builds, uh, I mean, uh, within hours. I mean, if you find something, he fixes it pretty quickly and releases it to the masses. So very nice job there. And uh, the only other thing you're going to notice is in the animation scales, you are going to have the ability to enable the 0.25x, so a little bit faster on the animation there. I like that ability as well. But that's pretty much the latest version of Chroma. Super solid and great support. You can also get that Volmer tweaks on the Play Store as I mentioned. The premium version is pretty awesome. I'll give you a little quick look at it. Um, it does have some issues, at least for me personally, and I'm trying to figure those out until I go into some detail, but you do have some advanced options. You can uh, reboot into recovery, bootloader, or just the device itself. You can enable dynamic and performance settings so you can turn on all the CPU cores or just two specifically until the CPU starts to get under heavy load. You also have the double tap to wake and you can set up sweeps based on your um, orientation or what have you to sleep and wake the device. But I am having some issues with this right now so you can be aware of that. Uh, I don't know if it's just something I did in flashing or what have you but I will figure it out and I'll go into some detail on that as well in another video. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up and definitely go check out this ROM. It's super sick, super solid, and awesome support. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.